Hello friends, welcome to my new Stripe tutorials. In this video, I will talk to you about the steps in creating a Strapi application. In doing so, we'll be setting up the Strapi working environment and also creating a Strapi admin user or registering a new user to our application and also creating a content type or creating our Strapi database schema. And the fourth uh, part will be installing custom plugins into our uh, application. I know you may be wondering by now what Strapi is all about and what it really is. Worry not. In this video, we will discuss what Strapi is and which platform or tools to use with Strapi. Okay. And by the end of this video, you will be able to create your own Strapi CMS application and run it. Okay. So before we start, please subscribe to my channel and like it if you haven't already to help me grow this channel and if you find this video helpful uh, please share it that being out of the way let's dive into our tutorial okay we'll start by understanding what strap is strap is an open source headless CMS tool for Node.js that enables us manage our application's content with a powerful CMS system using their application's admin panel. Okay, we have looked at a headless CMS, but what is a CMS? A CMS is known as a content management system. And also we have to know that Strapi also supports both no SQL and SQL databases. In doing so, allowing developers to choose their favorite tools and frameworks to use. For instance, if you're developing a web application using uh, either Next.js, React or Express, and also mobile apps with React Native, Flutter, Ionic, etc. The list is endless. Let's also understand what a headless CMS is. A headless content management system or headless CMS is a back-end only content management system that acts primarily as a content repository. This means that it is built to allow content to be accessed via a RESTful API, as we'll see in the course of the video. Okay, for example, there are many systems out there that manages and organizes content without a connected front end or a display layer. For example, like we have Drupal and many more. Swapi is offered as a free and open source for users who wish or developers who wish to self-host their softwares. All right, let's see how we can install and set up our Strapi application. In order to start, we have to know that uh, Strapi requires Node.js to be installed on our system, which will provide us with a boilerplate generator, create Strapi app, which will enable us in setting up our application. So, you will need to install Node.js first on your system. To do that, we'll just head to our browser right here 
and we will go to that URL. Uh, it is a node.js.org URL. So when we are there, you see that there are different versions of Node.js. There is this one, which is recommended, and there is the current one, which is 18.4, okay? But uh, most of us, we are using 16.15, okay? But uh, you can choose either of the installation that you want to install. Uh, this is for Mac, but if you want for Windows, you can just go to Downloads. And then you will be uh, presented with options, either Windows or Mac OS. So you choose uh, the one you are using. All right, so that out of the way. Me, I've already installed Node on my system, so I won't go into that, but I have a video uh, which illustrates how to install Node.js on your system. Just click on the link on this video. After finishing installing Node.js on your system, then you can run this command to install node installer boilerplate for Strapi, like so. You can just press enter and this will install this package onto our different systems. Let's wait for the command to run and install for us uh, this. Our package has finished installing globally on our system. So what we can do here is just run uh, create uh, strapi up and then sorry the strapi up and then uh, give a name to our application. It will be blog. Okay, but before we do that, we need to specify the directory of where we are going to install our uh, project. To do so, I will just change directory. For me, I will change to CD. I will just CD change directory to this one. Just run create uh, strapi app and then specify my my app as a blog and uh, i will just use strapi template which is quick start then after that you enter on your keyboard and that command will create for us our blog uh, strapi application finished and uh, our URL that is given to us is this. So this is the address that we can use to access our Strapi admin uh, dashboard. Okay, open our browser and there it is. So as I said, we need to create uh, for ourselves a user into our application. So to do so, we fill out this form and give a password of one, two, three, four, five, six, then admin, okay? And we confirm it, admin, okay? That is the password that we have given uh, our user admin, okay? So this command that will run and then create for ourselves a, a, a user which can then help to access our admin interface which is right here, okay? So in our admin interface we have content management, 
and uh, we have content builder the content type builder plugin helps us to create our data structure for our content and we do so by using a collection type single type and different components so when if we go to plugins and then we access our content type builder here we see that we have options of creating a collection as a content type or create a single type and also creating components we'll look at these different content types in the upcoming videos and see also how we can upload our application to Heroku since we are creating a blog we'll create it as a collection which is going to hold our different blogs not a single type so to do so we will just go here and say create and this one will contain uh, will consist of uh, title image and description so we can call our content our collection type as a blog okay then we click continue and then here we'll have a title which will be a text can give it a name of title okay uh, we can give it short text finish and then we can add another field which will be an image so we can click on media right here and uh, we need just a single image we need to name this one as image okay then we can add another field which is um, a description so we can add here rich text option and we can call this one description okay uh, to understand what a database schema is a database schema is a skeleton structure or object that represents every element of a database such as a table field or a record so this is the structure or a skeleton of our uh, database we need to save our uh, results so what we're going to do next is add some plugins to our application uh, an example of a plugin that we are going to to be adding is a documentation plugin that will enable us to access our api uh, details so to do so we just go to marketplace here and then type in our documentation there and here it is okay so we can just click copy command and uh, we can just come to our project right here in vs code and uh, you just go to view enable the terminal right here then uh, here we can simply paste our plugin command right there after installation we need to stop and then restart our application you can just say control control c to exit the application and then to start the application again you just have to run npx uh, strapi uh, develop because we are in the development mode okay and select enter on your keyboard to run this i've already done so 
so when you do when you come here you just refresh your page and uh, right here you see we have our plugin enabled on our menu right here documentation when we select it open documentation right here and this will open us a new tab and this tab this is where we have the list of all all schemas all content types that we have in our application okay but we are interested in what we have created which is blog so when we go there just select this one and it will show you the different uh, endpoints that you need to uh, execute okay so we have a get request we have a post request and uh, we have a get by id here we get only one blog here we get all the blogs here we can uh, the post blogs we add uh, different blogs and then here we can access particular blogs by id or we can edit uh, particular blocks by added by id using the put or delete a particular blog by id using delete method okay so these are the different methods that we will be executing using this uh, api okay all right so with this uh, we have finished our video in the next video will be we'll look at how we can switch from sqlite to postgres database and also upload our application to a host server like heroku and also customize our application front end and uh, if this video was helpful please feel free to share it otherwise take care and see you in my next video